Hey folks, welcome to another TRT Q&A with me, Paolo Bricardo. And today's question, which we will keep anonymous, says, Hi Paolo, I've been diagnosed with hypogonadotropic hypogonadism and just had my first libido 9th of December. These was my levels last time my blood was checked. And I will put up his results over here because he was kind enough to send them to us. I don't really understand the results. I just know that I've got low T, not which is normal and which is low on the results. Okay, so first of all, congratulations on getting treatment. Mm -hmm. I think you're going to find that it's going to make a huge difference, hopefully, uh, once the testosterone kicks in, and that should help you feel a lot better in future. So let's have a look. I'll keep the results up here on the screen. Let's have a look at your results and what they are. So if you go down to the section that says testosterone, you can see that it says 6.6 6 in mole. Now, you're not sure if that's low or not. Well, the first way you, you figure this out is you look at the normal range that the lab has provided you. So that's the values in brackets behind the 6.6. .6. So if you look at those brackets, you'll see the range is 10 to 35. So that lab laboratory is basically telling you that the normal levels According to, the, uh, according to them and their range is 10 to 35 and your value is 6.6. .6. So you fall out of the normal levels and you fall out below the lowest level, which is 10. You're a 6.6, .6, which is below 10. So you definitely have low T. I don't think that's anyone's disputing that. I think it's pretty clear. But ultimately, I think the question you're asking is also, what you know is the difference between 10 and 35? Well. 10 is pretty low testosterone and 35 is pretty high testosterone. So naturally, to get the optimal benefits of testosterone and testosterone replacement therapy, you want to be towards the higher end of the spectrum, okay? So uh, if, if you get your blood work done and you go from 6.6 .6 to, let's say, 17 or 18, you'll see that that's still quite low. It's closer to 10 than it is to 35. And that's not really where you want to be. And you'll probably have to discuss that with your doctor or endocrinologist because you ultimately want to bump that higher up the ladder, right? You want to be heading more towards the 35 than the 10. Now, this is a question a lot of people ask me and I get it a lot. And I actually shot a video on this because uh, you want to know what normal testosterone levels are and how they relate to you and specifically as a man and depending on your age and where you are. So I shot a, a video on this and it's called uh, Everything You Need to Know About Testosterone Levels. So you can see I'll put a little screenshot of the video of the cover of that video over here but I'll also include a link to that video in the description below. That explains pretty much uh, TRT Levels 101, everything you need to know, the basics about testosterone levels, right? Now, on your lab results, there were other results there also, right? There was estradiol and uh, numerous other test results. Now, I'm going to be perfectly honest. I personally only know what a couple of these are, testosterone and one or two others. The rest, I'm not really clear up on at all, right? They haven't really played a big role in my uh, TRT so far, at least personally. But um, it is something I would like to learn more about. So in the new year... Uh, I'm definitely going to read up on all the different other hormones and markers and how they relate to TRT and just your body and general health. And I'll also try and connect with a lot more professionals so that we can uh, look at these types of things and discuss them and explain them so that sort of laymen and lay people like myself and other people out there understand what these things mean because you get a lab work sort of blood test result panel back and you're not really sure like what these things mean, you know, even if they're in the normal ranges, what does that mean? Is it good or is it bad? Do you want to be at the high end of the range or do you want to be at the low end of the range? You know, these types of things, I know I would certainly be interested in them and, and that's what I'm going to try and expand on in the new year. So yeah, thanks for the question. Have a look at that video and, and hopefully that explains everything. And if you still have questions and get in touch and if I can't answer it, I'll certainly try and investigate further or get someone else more of a professional to look into it and give us a response to that. So yeah, thanks for watching. And if you like this video, please just give it a like so that other people can see it. And this is the last video for 2016. So I will see you guys in 2017. Have a good one.